As a manager, when you enter a room with your team, it's natural for you to have the first say and set the agenda. In mediation, it's the mediator who structures and manages the process. Your opening statement is your first opportunity to provide your point of view about the issues in dispute. When prepared in advance, it's your reference point for expressing what's important to you and staying focused, regardless of how the discussion unfolds. In this presentation, you will learn how to prepare an opening statement that will set a helpful tone and shape the discussion. Your opening statement serves three functions. It acknowledges something about the other party's experience. It explains your understanding of events and the efforts previously made to address the employee's concerns, and it communicates what is important to you and why. Depending on the issues and how long the dispute has been going on, parties in mediation often arrive in the room with hardened positions and heightened emotion. It is common for a party's opening statement to describe frustration at not being heard. Your opening statement allows you to acknowledge both the issues and the expressed emotion in the other party's statement and to convey your commitment to working with them toward a solution. Remember, you want to use your opening to set the tone for the rest of the mediation. Thanking the other party for attending demonstrates that, regardless of the outcome, you appreciate their effort to resolve the dispute together. You will have information the other party doesn't. This might include the basis for actions taken that the other party is challenging, updates on efforts made to try to resolve the dispute, and issues that must be addressed in a mediated settlement. Let's say the mediation relates to leave restrictions. You could share the information from your records that supports your actions and caution the employee about the consequences of not adhering to the leave restrictions. This is helpful for the employee to know, and it provides an additional narrative that can be explored through the mediation process, but it doesn't prevent you from understanding the employee and even shifting your position as you learn more. The opening statement needs to include clear statements that describe your concerns, state the expectations you have for the other party, and convey your willingness to work on solutions that will meet your needs and support the success of the other party. If you know that your authority to negotiate a solution is limited, it's appropriate to express that, as well as what you can do to support the ultimate resolution. It's always a good idea to write out your statement or prepare notes in advance. This will ensure you have important information available prior to and during the mediation. It can be unsettling to be asked to mediate with an employee or coworker. Recognize that emotions, such as a sense of injury, embarrassment, annoyance, and skepticism, are common. Try to isolate them from what you want to communicate in your opening statement, or find someone you can trust to help you talk it through, taking care to be aware of what you can share and with whom. Just before your mediation session, review your checklist, be aware of your emotional responses, if any, and rely on your statement to help you and the mediation process stay focused, positive, and productive. To learn more, view the companion demonstration video on Preparing and Delivering an Opening Statement. Download the How-To Checklist. Check out other segments of the At the Table series and contact the Air Force NDR program.